Hey guys, this is Naveen here. Welcome back to Naveen Automation Labs. And today we are going to talk about something very important for interview point of view. We are going to talk about what is time complexity. It's very, very important thing for the interviews. Either you are applying for as a developer or as an automation engineer, as a SDE or SDET. Everyone should know about what you mean by time complexity, how to calculate, what are the different ways of calculating, how exactly we can create a time complexity graph as well as how to create and de derive the time complexity in the form of big O of N. So let's see what do you mean by time complexity. So a basic definition time complexity is a, a measure of how long an algorithm takes to run as a function of the input size. The more and more input size you provide to the function it will take more time. It depends what kind of algorithm that you are using. So we typically want algorithm that have a low time complexity. Obviously, everyone wants that whatever the algorithm, whatever the logic that I have written, it should take less amount of time. If you are increasing the input size also, if you are giving more data also, then again, it should have a, a less amount of time means the low time complexity as they will be faster and more efficient. There are several different ways to measure time complexity, but the most common is by using big O of notation that is called big O notation. You must have heard about O n, O 1, O log n, O n square and all such things. So big O is a standard notation as a way of expressing the time complexity of an algorithm. So it's not about only Java or Python. It's nothing <coughs> or not specific to a specific programming language. It's a concept of a programming to calculate that how much optimized code that you have written and how exactly the time complexity is getting calculated. Doesn't matter that you have written the code in Java, Python, JavaScript or any other language. It depends that what kind of code that you have written, what kind of algorithm that you have written and how exactly the time complexity is being calculated over here. So it will tell you how the runtime of an algorithm grows as the input size increases. How exactly the runtime execution is taking less amount of time or more amount of time or it means the time complexity is so high that this code is not at all optimized and we have to optimize for that. So here are some common time complexities ordered from the best to worst. So O1 is the constant time, the runtime of the algorithm it stays the same regardless of the input size. So in today's session, we are going to talk about what is O1. Later on, we will see O n log n, n square, n cube, 2 n and everything. And we will see some other really good examples also like a linear search, binary search, bubble sort and everything. And then merge sort will give you O or O of n log n. We will see, we will talk about the binary search also, which will give you the time complexity of uh, O of log of n. But today we are going to talk about, let's see, big O of one. I'll give you a better example. For example, let's see you go to this particular function. And here in this function, what do you see? That I have just created one sum function. This is in Java. And this function is taking two parameters, A and B. And then it's giving total is equal to A plus B and returning it. So if I call this particular function, so let's say I'm just calling it and I'm passing 10 comma 20. Okay, and then 10 comma 20 will give you the addition of these two numbers. So let's see, I'm writing S1 is equal to this. And then in the next line, and then I'm just printing S1 over here. So what is the time complexity of the sum method? So you are getting the result of 30. It's fine. But in order to calculate 30, how much time it took? And then I cannot say that five seconds or two seconds and three seconds. It depends on the machine, but I really want to calculate that what is the time complexity for this. So let's do that. So let's see this A and B is taking as an input parameter. So this a 10 will be given to A, 20 will be given to B. So both will be executing only once. So I'll say, okay, fine one and then plus one. Then total is equal to A plus B. Then total will be calculated A plus B. And this A plus B will be 30 will be given to total. So let's see this line will be executed. Line number seven will be executed only once. And then it's returning the total as well. So there will again say, okay, fine, plus one only. So if you calculate, this is giving you four. So if I denote with the big O, I'll say, okay, fine. The time complexity of this simple a uh, function, the sum function that I have written, that is O4. But what is four here? It could be five also tomorrow. If I add, let's see more calculation or more number of lines 
of single line that I add over here, more variables I created over here, and then more input parameters. It could be seven also, it could be 10 also, it could be 40, 30, it could be anything. But we have to simplify in the form of what? How many times this line is getting executed? How many times this line is getting executed over here? So if you notice, the 10 will be given to A only once, 20 will be given to B only once. These two lines also will be executing only once. So we just need to check that how many times the same line of code is getting repeated or not, is getting executed again and again. There is no for loop, there is no while loop, nothing. The overall time complexity for this entire function is O of 1, which is a constant time. Okay, I'll say like that because it could be any number, it could be more, it could be 40 also, 400 also, 400 lines of code that you have written. So this number is denoting what? This number is denoting that, okay, fine, how many times each and every line of code will be executing over here. You can see that it will just executing. It will be executing only once. This will be executing only once. These two parameters will be initialized only once. There is no for loop, nothing. So that's why to make it simplify, I'll say O of one, that is a constant time. So this is a standard for the constant time. We write O of one instead of saying O4 or O 400 or something like this. We simplify, write it in the form of O of one. So some other example, let's see if you uh, check that, okay, what is the time complexity for this? Let's see, I have created one array. In this particular array, for example, let's see, I have one comma, two comma, three comma, five. And then I really want to print system dot out of print ln, give me the value which is available on a specific index. So let's see if I'm passing, okay, fine, give me the values available on the second index. So this is zero, this is one, this is two. So are we writing any for loop or something here? Are we just Java what exactly will do? It will just go there in this particular array and whatever the value is available on the second position, it will just fetch and then it will give it to you or it will just print it on the console. So that's why it's giving you three. So we don't, Java don't need to perform any other for loop or something. Java will say, okay, fine. At this second index inside the memory, when this particular array will be initialized, <clears throat> simple go to the second index and whatever the value is available, just pick that. You don't need to traverse from here to here. This is not the three is not available at the random position. So I don't need to go to the memory each and everywhere because the index is already passed over here. So I simply say, okay, fine, go to the second index and then fetch the value. That's it. This is just like a one big apartment is there and then you just go to the specific apartment in that particular unit number 101 and then a uh, fetch the value from there that's it so that's what <clears throat> if you see the accessing an element in an array that is also called o of one over here if someone is asking you what is the time complexity of a simple variable if i declare let's see integer a is equal to 10 what is the time complexity of this this is also big o of one it will be executing only once same thing what is the time complexity for this algorithm? This is also O of one, just a constant time over here. Now, at the time of interview, people will ask you, can you create a graph of constant time? So how will you do that? The graph is also very important. We will see some other uh, graphs also in upcoming chapters, but what you just simply say, okay, fine. You just create X, X axis and the Y axis. Y axis is defining about the time that how much time it will take or how much uh, CPU computation that you have to perform over here. I would say, uh, let's see, computation here, All right? And this is the input size that if you uh, add more and more data, then, or more and more input elements that you are giving, in that case, how much time it will take? So today we are going to talk about only big O of one. Then in that case, the big O of one is a constant time. So if you know simple mathematics, the O of one will take a constant time means it will just create a graph like this. So it will just use it. I will draw the line over here like this. So this is O of one, a constant time. Doesn't matter how much input size that you are giving. I mean, the input size, obviously there is no concept of input size because this is getting executed only once. There is no for loop, nothing. And then because in for loop, what will you write? I is equal to one and I less than 100 then 100 times the loop will start. If you write i less than 1000, then 1000 times loop will start. But here, as such, we don't have that. So it will be a constant time over here. So I would say this is the big O of one over here. So 
at a time of interview if someone is asking give me the time complexity graph for big o of 1 like this so this is big o of 1 over here later on we will see o of n log n and o n square also later on we will see that in in the next chapter in the next video so i hope this is clear we will continue in the next video please um, check that this is something very important and uh, let me know in case of any issues